In 2017, Chinese scientists were able to transmit a photon to a satellite in Earth's lower Earth orbit, LEO. This information spread like wildfire. Some even believed that the teleportation shown in Star Trek was now a reality. However, this was not the case. What they accomplished was quantum teleportation. Teleportation is the process of dematerializing a body from one location and rematerializing it in another. But what the scientists discovered was quantum teleportation, or the transfer of quantum information without the use of a medium. In the following video, we will discuss what quantum teleportation is and whether it is a reality, and how far can we go. Hello and welcome to Z. Follow us by subscribing the channel. Teleportation has been mentioned in fiction and folklore for over a thousand years. As previously noted, quantum teleportation differs from classical teleportation in that only quantum information is conveyed. Quantum computers have the potential to make future networking and communication systems hack-proof. We have successfully repeated this experiment with photons over a thousand times in today's world. What is the definition of quantum teleportation? In quantum teleportation, an object is not moved from one location to another, but rather its quantum information is teleported without the use of a medium. According to the no cloning and no deleting theorem, quantum information cannot be copied or destroyed. But first, we must comprehend quantum entanglement. When a parent particle with zero spin decays, two particles are produced. Because spin is a conserved quantity, it cannot change, and hence the daughter particles have opposing spin. Spin is a feature shared by all fundamental particles in the universe. This does not imply that they spin, but that they have angular momentum and an inclination in space. We can measure the spin of a particle and receive two outcomes, upspin or downspin, both with a chance of 50 to 50 percent unless observed by an observer. The simplest example of quantum entanglement is two particles with opposite spins and a single wave function. If one is up, the other will be down. Quantum interaction enables strange behavior to be observed in sizes as large as humans and beyond. The crucial point to note here is that both particles are governed by a single wave function. These particles are referred to as entangled particles. Entanglement does not require the particles to be close to each other. We can separate the two particles by feet, miles, or even kilometers as long as they do not interact with anything. The two particles are connected by a single wave function and have opposite spins. When two particles are formed from a single particle under particular conditions, the two particles have a very distinct relationship to each other. This connection is known as quantum entanglement. This approach is strange and has been dubbed spooky action, with the author declaring on several times that God does not play dice, and it would also rule out the theory of relativity. However, Einstein's hypothesis was disregarded, and Bohr's idea is still an important component of current physics. Qubits are utilized in quantum computing and teleportation. They serve the same purpose as the bits we utilize today. The distinction between qubits and bits is that the value of a bit can either be 0 or 1, whereas the value of a qubit can be both 0 and 1 at the same time. This is why quantum computers are far quicker than today's computers. Consider two people, Alex and Brandy, to better comprehend quantum teleportation. Alex is on Earth, while Brandy is on the International Space Station. Alex is interested in transferring a photon C to Brandy. A pair of entangled particles will be required for this process. Let us refer to the entangled particles as A and B, respectively. Now, Alex will keep one of the particles, A, while Brandy will keep the other, B. Because both particles affect each other regardless of distance, if one particle among them has an upstate, the other will have a downstate after measurement. For example, in this case, particles A and B are entangled, and if A has an upward spin, B will have a downward spin. We cannot ignore the superposition principle because we are dealing with quantum particles. 
The superposition principle asserts that until quantum particles are measured, they remain in all of their conceivable states, also known as the superposition state. Superposition states that unless seen, quantum particles can exist in all of their potential states. However, as we view them, their wave functions crumple, and we are left with only one of their conceivable states. This means that until the box is opened, Schrodinger's cat is both dead and alive. Moving on, I'd like you to bear with me and pay great attention to what I say. Because even missing a single line can make grasping a really simple principle like this difficult. When we see quantum particles, their wave function collapses, and we are left with only one state. What I mean is that the particles remain in both the upstate and the downstate at the same time, but when we view them, their wave function collapses and we receive either an upstate or a downstate. Until Alex Docent analyzes both photons A and C separately, they stay in superposition. When he measures both photons individually, their wave function collapses and both photons go into a definite state, preventing us from teleporting the photon X in space. Instead of assessing them individually, he measures their total state, which is known as Bell measurement. When he measures A and C in their combined state, photon A interacts with photon C. Because photon A is already entangled with photon B, photon C's quantum information is conveyed to photon B via photon A. This occurs because the two particles are already entangled, and every change in one causes a change in the other. However, Brandy is still ignorant that they have acquired the quantum information of particle C, which is currently with Alex. As a result, he is still unable to produce photon X through manipulation. As a result, we will need to contact the team and advise them about our tests through any traditional means of communication, such as a phone call. We will convey this information to them using our qubits. Now that Photon B is with Brandy, it has the quantum information of Photon C, and by manipulating it, we can create a perfect clone of Photon C. As a result, the entanglement between photons A and B breaks, and B contains the quantum states of C, and we can say that we teleported quantum C from Earth to the ISS. But you might be wondering how we can say we teleported the photon C to space if Alex still has both particles. According to the above-mentioned no-cloning and deleting principle, when Brandy manipulates the photon he has and extracts the quantum state of photon C into it, the quantum state of the initial particle changes into a separate and unique one. Because all of C's initial attributes have been transferred to Brandy, C is now changing and will have various properties. As a result, we successfully teleported our particle from California to the International Space Station. Mission accomplished. If we're lucky, a single particle transported by quantum teleportation could encode enough information to tell you everything you need to know about a single particle in a human. However, things might easily become more difficult. This new advancement has the potential to be extremely useful, if not revolutionary, in the construction of a quantum internet, which would push computing power to an entirely new level. However, transferring a living human being would necessitate transporting far more than just the information encoding a person. The information problem may be solvable if we can reduce it to only requiring the same amount of particles as a human being. But building a whole human being from scratch not to mention whether the human being at the destination is even the same person you started with at the source is a completely new matter. The phenomena of quantum teleportation has been known for decades and empirically validated under a variety of conditions. However, its applicability is limited, it only operates on single particles, nothing moves from place to place, the photons exchanged must go from source to destination, and they are limited by how far a photon can be transported without losing signal. Previously, that limit meant that you could only travel a few kilometers. While faithfully transmitting information from an unknown quantum state to another location is a fantastic capacity, its range was too limited to ever reach, say, a spaceship. That is, however, why the latest breakthrough is so stunning. 
By establishing a channel link from Earth to a satellite, the majority of the transit travels over empty space, resulting in virtually little signal loss. This accomplishment will usher in a new era of quantum computing, which will be much quicker than today's supercomputers, and we have already seen the first quantum computer. So what are your thoughts on scientists' accomplishment? Can we achieve teleportation in the future? Please share your thoughts in the comments area. Also, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell button to be notified of future videos.